Robbie Cumming, star of BBC Four's Canal Boat Diaries, is back for a new season of the show with four new episodes, and this time he'll be taking his old-fashioned narrowboat out in the autumn and winter months. Coming up we have an interview with him as the waterways aficionado shares his unique perspective on life as he travels along a 300-mile section of canals and rivers. Through the autumn and winter of 2022-2023, Robbie travelled through South Yorkshire, Lincolnshire, Nottinghamshire, Leicestershire, and Northamptonshire, passing through some breathtaking scenery along the way. He encourages others to appreciate our nation's industrial past by highlighting its less well-known stretches of canals and rivers. As Robbie battles the flood waters, thick ice, and his aging boat engine, you can expect moments of peace and tranquility as well as the drama that comes with winter boating. In the first episode Robbie sets out on a journey across the north and the midlands of England, a distance of 300 miles. While travelling through the Tinsley Lock Flight in South Yorkshire, he is compelled to perform a running repair on his narrowboat, the Naughty Lass. Then, he waits for the Stainforth and Kedby Canal's peculiar sliding railway bridge to open as he travels beneath Conisbruffer's magnificent viaduct. Let's see the interview now. 10 to 8, bank holiday Monday. What could be better than uh, life idly drifting along uh, a waterway? Idyllic, isn't it? But not necessarily You'd plain think so. Not yeah. necessarily. Uh, boating enthusiastic Robbie Cummings found out when he was filming BBC Four's Canal Boat Diaries. Um, it's now in its fourth series. He's continuing his journey on his narrow boat, the Naughty Lass, all captured on his mobile phone. Let's have a look. We're off. This is it. I've joined the back end of the flotilla. I've just got to watch my speed. If I go too quick, I'll end up ramming someone. And the boat in front of me is made of plastic, so that would not be good for them. We've reached the point in the evening where the light really is at its lowest level, so all the lights are popping out, and do you know what, this is really magical. I've never seen anything like this before. What an effort everyone's made, it's brilliant. I've taken my boat out many times before at night, but nothing quite like this. Robbie joins us we now. We should explain. <laughs> Robbie, thank you very much indeed. Scared me to death. Yeah. That's uh, a lock key which Robbie has brought in with uh, various mm. other bits and pieces yeah. uh, that basically keep you afloat and keep your life in order. Yeah, literally there's my keys there with the, the cork ball on the end to try and keep them uh, yeah, from sinking into the depths and one of my old hats as well, so there we are. <laughs> <laughs> it's as complex as it gets. Yeah. Um, and that's well, the appeal, I guess, on the narrowboat. It's a simple life. Yeah, and keeping everything simple, minimalist, is, is key. Certainly when you're filming on a narrowboat. Um, uh, yeah, so I've got small cameras, um, like my phone, that I'm just able to capture those moments as we go along, really. So, uh, so yeah. you filmed a lot of this yourself? Yeah, um, and that's how it all started. Um, I was making just videos on YouTube and got picked up from there and the series we've kept that sort of DIY aspect and um, yeah so there's a drone we get some amazing shots there and um, my producer Stuart Woodman he's there with his cameras as well so it's a very small crew but we capture the well what hope is the real real side of boating brilliant keeping it simple is is just lovely isn't it um, what is life for you then so 10 years on the narrow boat is there a plan or do you just kind of tend to go where the wind takes you. Um, yeah, wherever, wherever the next series is. Well, which is <laughs> yeah. Las Vegas, by the <laughs> looks of it. Or well, Blackpool, at least. Yeah, so that's a, oh, that was quite a moment that I just timed it right. Joined a, a group of boats on the Chesterfield Canal and they were having an illuminated procession. I've never done anything like that before, um, but it really shows, it shows you the community of boats when they get together. It's quite yeah. special. That does look really, really special. Oh, um, hello. But you mm. face all kind of... Your yes. camera nearly got smacked. <laughs> uh, where's this? That looks chilly. That's at Loughborough Basin, and that's the start of episode four. 
which is on Thursday, and it's crashing Anyone? through all the ice. It's so thick. Any common sense? Um, at one point, we just have to give up, more up, and uh, let it all melt away. <laughs> and are you finding that? Because how many series in are you? Um, yeah, this is the fourth one now that's about to go out. Um, tonight at 7.30 on BBC Four. And, um, yeah, it's... Are there still new routes to be discovered? Are you still being surprised by what you come across? Yeah, and there's, there are areas of the country I've not even explored yet. Right. And, um, and there's, there's canals in Scotland, Northern Ireland, you know, that I'd love to, to check out as well. So who knows what the future might hold. Yeah. But How did you get into it? Sort of fell into it. Um, not literally like not falling into the canal. Into the canal. Yeah. You need a cool call above you, Matt. Yeah. Um, but... I, I needed somewhere to live. Uh, I had a relationship in London and I didn't have a job. And there was a friend of a friend, she had two boats and one she was selling. So I said, well, I'll probably give that a go, look after it for you. And uh, as soon as I got on the tiller, on the back of the boat, taking it through tunnels in Islington and places like that, I thought, well, this is, I don't know how, but I want to make this my job. And I guess I have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your life, really, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, and that's what people have to remember, I suppose. Um, it's not just a sort of um, fun sort of journey. It is that I live on this boat yeah. all year round. And, um, yeah, so. But the, the freedom of that being your home is incredible because you talked about Islington there and mm. the locks all around Camden and then you compare that to perhaps the more rural areas, if you head out to Norfolk, for example, you can do it all. Yeah, oh, apart from the Norfolk Broads. Oh, the Broads you're not allowed on Unfortunately, it yet. isn't connected, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but for most part, it is. And I've been all over Liverpool and uh, Leeds, um, um, Birmingham, of course. And um, there's still so much more to explore. So, uh, yeah, but this, this series shows what it's like in autumn and in winter. That's the key thing. Something that we've never been able to do before. So, so why? Why? Just to show people what it's really like. OK. Because it's... It tempting to just, uh, well, for a lot of other shows and it's all these lovely pictures of narrow boats. You think, oh, it's what a lovely life. But there are, there is a, a tough side of it, you know, mm -hmm. keeping your fire going and all this sort of stuff and a lot of work that you have to do yourself. You can't just walk in there and press a button and it all just, you know, switches to life. How do you keep warm? Because well, British winters can be brutal. Yeah, there was a lot of foraging for uh, firewood and... Um, yeah, keeping that fire going all throughout the night as well. So I have to use coal to keep it going. And, um, yeah, it's just... It actually, actually it gets really quite hot uh, up here, sort of at, at your head level, and then down below, where the, it's below the water. It's really, really cold. So, oh, really? Yeah, it's kind of a mixture of the two, really. Yeah. So is your bed sort of elevated? Yeah, luckily that's uh, <laughs> above the water the line. Heat, yeah. 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 Because you must have to plan everything. I mean, they don't move very quickly, do you? So if you want to get to a certain place, you need mm. to plan that, the time it's going to take. But, but everything about it, sourcing the wood, your food, where you stop, er you know, everything takes a lot more effort and thought. You do have to plan a lot, but it's always on the fly. It's always, um, mm. um, yeah, sort of whilst you're on the journey. And things just change. You have to be really versatile. And so it, it suits the sort of person that can do that. Um, and you have to be quite frugal as well. Mm. And the sort of person who doesn't mind if things change at the last minute, who can be quite sort of agile in their thinking and not panic when things don't necessarily go yeah. to plan. That's a beauty for me. You know, I, I, love, I love it when I sort of I wake up, I don't really know what's going to happen that day, and we really capture that on the, on the series, I hope. Um, that We know where we're going. We don't know what's going to happen along that journey. So, uh, yeah. One thing that did happen is you got your phone nicked that had... Loads of I did. It's not. It's sort of off camera, camera isn't moment. It? Yeah. It's sort of off. We finished. Luckily, we finished filming one of the episodes. Mm. Um, a real funny moment where we break down in the middle of Nottingham. Um, and I decided after night after that I was going to you know go out in Nottingham and enjoy uh, the nightlife. And then yeah. the next morning, I realised that yeah, my phone had been taken. Luckily, we'd had all the the footage. That's that's good. But music that I'd been writing on that phone. Oh. So I used the mobile device as well to record the music we use in the show. And, um, yeah, that unfortunately That's lost a few songs. Yeah. Oh, dear. 
So, never mind. I, do you know what? I'm sort of mesmerised. I'm keeping my eye on the footage here because it's so soothing, isn't it? It is. That it really gentle is. Gentle yeah. pace, which is the antithesis of how we live in everyday life yeah. and to escape it in that way. And it does sound hectic and stressful at times, but it is a different pace. It's well, escape. quite appealing. Look at that. That's exactly that. It's, this is all about escapism for people who don't, don't already live this life. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, I hope that you watch this and you just, yeah, let all your troubles float away. <sighs> Yeah, that's the. That's you what mauled up on Salford Keys? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. People think, oh, you're going to just pop just down pop to over. London for the weekend. Yeah. Well, not really, because it at my average week. speed, including all the locks and all the bridges that go through, is about one or two miles an hour. Gosh. So, yeah. to be fair, that's pretty quick in the train sometimes. <laughs> yeah. uh, Robbie, thank you very much indeed. Thanks for coming in. Oh. Lovely to see you. And uh, the new series of Robbie's series, uh, Canal Boat Diaries, starts as he said tonight. BBC Two, 7.30, it's on all it's this really week. really relaxed me, Robbie, watching that on, really on BBC Four. Well, you're Was a very it? soothing, <laughs> chilled kind of yeah. guy as well, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, you're watching Canal that. Boat Diaries is on the BBC iPlayer now. Check the link below to see Robbie's YouTube channel. Let me know your thoughts on the programme in the comments below and feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching.